Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. This is a beautiful message right here. This is a beautiful message, y'all. Beautiful. I am excited to read this for you. Okay, so it's very simple, very straightforward, which I know y'all aren't used to when it comes to me and my channel because I get all kinds of details and all kinds of cards, but I'm just feeling this. So this is the way this is shaking down. All right. For those of you who are interested in spiritual growth, for those of you who understand that you are on this planet for a very, very short period of time and your objective is spiritual growth because your soul knows where you came from, your soul knows where it is that you need to go, and in the middle we go through this very limited 100 year max if you're lucky human life experience and while we're here we need to grow and learn because what it is that we grow and learn in this lifetime has some kind of effect on the rest of our soul journey okay so spiritual growth if you're interested on in how to move forward in your life and you want to do it in a better way then this is your reading. So here we go. The Hermit. Solitude is the name of this card. This is about soul searching and introspection. Straight up soul searching and introspection. It's about being alone, seeking inner guidance. It's about really asking, okay? Asking. And it's clarified by Justice in Reverse and the Empress in Reverse. So Major Arcana, all three of them, four and five, okay? We have five Major Arcana in a row that are opening up this very, very short spread, okay? What's the significance of that? The Major Arcana are all of the life lessons that we all need to learn here over and over and over again because they're layered like an onion. Okay, we learn these lessons over and over again and we get better and better and better at life instead of never learning anything or never growing from a situation and just continuously repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. All right, spiritual growth is about moving forward. The human experience is about trying to control your environment according to your own limited understanding of the grand scheme of things. Your soul's path, your soul's journey is where you came from and it's where you need to go. These cards are telling whomever it is that needs to hear this in the Seeking Collective that it is time to sit down with whatever you call your higher power and have a conversation. It's time to have an out loud, soul-searching conversation with whatever it is that you call source energy. Because you ain't doing it right. <laughs> with justice in reverse, right? You ain't doing it right. We ain't doing it right. Okay? You have to understand, I'm a channeler, okay? So I know I sound like really bossy in my readings, but in real life, I'm really not very bossy. I mean, I'm a little bossy, but I'm not bossy bossy. I'm a channeler, and the message that is coming out is um, not how I feel about things. It's how the cards feel about things. So what, what are you doing wrong? Well, justice in reverse. You are um, perpetrating an injustice in your life. Um, there is something that is happening in your subconscious mind that is not in your best interest it's not in your best good and we need to have a sit down and we need to talk about it to the empress in reverse because you are out of control of yourself somehow some way okay out of control of yourself 
what's happening? Well, the Empress is lesson number three of all of the major arcana. She is the third most important lesson that you as a human being need to understand about how to achieve success in this lifetime. She is number three because she comes from lesson one and lesson two. Lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about whether you like it or not. What you think about comes about. So you better be real careful where you put your thoughts because you can create a shit show without even trying. Imagine what you could create if you could control your mind. If you could free yourself from this box with your own mind control, imagine what you could create. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to lead you and guide you through life, through this human meat suit life. Lesson three is the empress. She is the connection between the divine and the physical. She is what creates the act of spirituality. Okay? She understands that if she follows her intuition, it's always going to lead her in the path of her best and highest good. Always. Every single time. Always. And she understands that if she will point her mind in the direction of her intuition, she is infallible. She is the seedbed of all creation because she manifests according to her intuition. All right? Spirit is saying, whoever you are, let's have a sit down. We need to talk about some things. Justice in reverse. What you're doing is not in your best interest. To the Empress in reverse. And you are out of control of yourself. Empress in the upright. Lesson three, lesson three. Empress in the upright. You, we need to sit down and talk about what is not in your best interest, why you're not doing it right, so you can do it right. So you can understand your power. So you can step into your journey and your purpose. Yes, this is feminine energy, but it is male or female. Understand, if you're a male, understand your feminine power, bro. It is powerful. Women are the most powerful creation. Understand your feminine energy because it will illuminate to you a piece of yourself and a piece of your life that you're missing if you ignore it. You need to do it right. Why? The fool. Because there's a better way. It's a better way. There's a better way. It's a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a new start. Start emotional rebirth. It's about following your heart's voice to release your potential. Quantum leaps in your life. If you will sit down with whatever it is you call source energy and be honest and fair about yourself, your life, your situation, your circumstances, where you came from, where you are, and where it is that you want to go, they will communicate to you through your intuition and signs and synchronicities around you that back up that intuition and they will point you in the journey of your best and highest good. Because whoever this is, is off mark. Stand your ground. What's oh, a seven of wands? Stand your ground when it comes to what? Well, the eight of pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Your expectations about how other people treat you and how it is that you want to grow and build your life. Stand your ground. What does that mean? Well, here's part of the injustice of what's, what's going on here. Okay, what is the injustice right here that the universe so desperately wants to talk to you about? What is it? Okay. Obstacles and emotion. I'm sorry. Obst obstacles and challenges. It's a five, right? Five is about instability, conflict, and loss. But out of that always comes new change, expansion, and creation. Five of 
fire, being the five of wands right here, means that the obstacles and challenges come from your chest, right? They don't come from your mind. They don't come from your emotions. They don't come from your sense of security. They come from your chest, okay? So what are the obstacles and challenges that you can either allow to consume you like a disease or you can choose to use them for expansion in your life. What are these? Well, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Repressed emotions, hurt feelings. Repressed, repressed emotions and hurt feelings about what? The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Four, I'm sorry, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is about self-protection. It's about a lack mentality. For some of you out there, these repressed emotions that are standing in your way are a lack mentality. You never had enough. You do not have enough. You never feel like you have enough. And that's a problem. For some of you, this Four of Pentacles in reverse talks about um, materialism. You know, never enough. Never, ever enough. Not, a, not from a lack mentality perspective, but from a greedy grabber perspective. Just never enough. This card is also about self-protection. Maybe protecting yourself from hurt feelings from your past. Knight of Cups comes on top of this and talks about the giving of feelings. So what are you protecting yourself from? The giving of feelings. Being in control of your feelings. See, this guy right here, he's in control of his feelings. He has done the work that he needs to do to consolidate and concentrate in this golden chalice what it is that's important to him and what it is that he cares about the most. And everything else does not fit in this cup. And he is preparing to move forward slow, steady, and stable. And he's going to be very careful who he gives this cup to because he has worked so hard to whittle it down to the point where he can actually bear the weight of it. Okay? So what are your obstacles and challenges? Well, repressed emotions somewhere, somehow, for whoever this is for, about self-protection, greed, materialism, or a lack mentality. Those are, that's who this is for. To the Knight of Cups. Um, Knight of Cups, again, is about um, going, sorting through the root of all of this. And that's what you're going to do in solitude, right? You're going to sort through what the root of all of this is. And if you ask, they will speak to you. They will, they will. Justice in reverse. That's this right here, right? Justice in reverse is a lack of accountability for your journey, for your true journey, for your soul journey. Um, justice in reverse is never in your best interest. It's not in your favor. Why? Empress in reverse. Because you're not in control of what's happening to your life. You're letting life happen to you instead of you happen to life. So what's the change that's going to come out of all of this? Is that you are going to stand your ground, right? You are going to understand that you are, that there are things that you need to work on in and of yourself to be able to overcome this injustice back here. Mm -hmm. You're going to stand your ground. You're going to meet your own expectations, and you're going to hold your standards high for your expectations for the people around you as well. Yep, yep. Eight of Wands in reverse to the devil. What's the problem here? Well, the good old Diablo and the tower. You see, this all connects to this Empress in reverse right here, right? Why? Well, the devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. And by default, it's toxic to your life. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The devil represents the human nature of the tarot, just like the high priestess represents the spiritual nature of the tarot. Your human understanding of the way that things should be are the reason that the Empress is in reverse. Uh huh. It's the reason the Empress is in reverse. That's the reason that you're letting life kick your ass instead of you kicking life's ass. 
It's because there is some kind of misunderstanding that this particular person is under that um, makes them think that they can ju just keep going the way that they've been going and get anything different. That's the thing, is that you can't get anything different. If you want something different, this is the, the roadmap to do it. What do you got to do? You got to dig in to those issues that we talked about. The tower, because it's been a tower after tower after tower after tower all over the place. Everything you try to build implodes. Why? The devil. Because you're not doing it from a spiritual foundation. You're doing it from a flesh foundation. Mm -hmm. And that's the attachment. That's the restriction to your growth, your, your attachment to your humanness. That's why it's not in your best interest. That's why they're calling you home with the hermit. To the second devil. This second devil is your shadow self, which is, again, why the empress is in reverse. What's the shadow self? Well, your shadow self is all the bullshit about yourself. That's the shadow self. It's the dark side. It's the side that this shadow self is the shadow of who you are supposed to be, right? Because nobody ever gets the opportunity to truly and completely live their true selves. They just don't. From the moment we take our first breath in this meat suit, we are boxed in, completely and totally boxed in. Male, female, red hair, brown hair, what your parents do for a living, where you live, where you go to school, what your parents' issues are, what they instill on your identity, the community, society, the government, it's all boxed in. The true fibers of what you are sewn from belong to that soul that came into the body that will leave the body and continue on. That soul is sewn from the same fibers that it was sewn from back then. And you are sewn from those same fibers now. But we're all boxed in all the time. All boxed in all the time. This devil card is about the shadow self. The shadow self is about the box. The box that we live in. It's the shadow of our true self. Our true self can't shine because it's overshadowed by the box that we are all automatically put into. We have no control over it. We have no say-so in it. And for some of us, it sure as heck isn't the identity that we would have chosen. But it's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. This flesh attachment restricts your growth. What growth? Your soul growth. Who doesn't want your soul to grow? Well, this guy right here. That's why you're not living your best life with the Empress in reverse. That's why it's not in your best interest with justice. That's why if you will understand your soul instead of your flesh, there can be a different way. There can be a new beginning and a new journey. And in, in this new beginning, in this new journey, you will know your power and you will stand your ground. You will have expectations that you will not compromise on. Obstacles and challenges. But you have to overcome. You can't succumb. You have to overcome. You have to overcome repressed emotions and some kind of, of self-protection, lack, greedy mentality of some sort. Mm -hmm. Get it all together sort through it all, come to terms with this flesh mentality that has been creating implosion, implosion after implosion in your life. What was the root, I asked, of this, of this, of this devil right here? And it's the eight of wands in reverse, right? Keeping you stalled, keeping you delayed, keeping you from growing, because if you can live and die in justice in reverse, if you can live and die creating an, an injustice by your lack of accountability in this lifetime, then you make absolutely no progress. And whatever difference any of this makes on the other side is null and void. The objective is to grow your soul. 
How do you do that? Manifest according to your intuition and understand that it is the path of your soul and the path of your best and highest good. Ace of Swords. My bad. Let's go back to the devil. Four of Cups to the Ace of Swords. What's the Four of Cups about? Well, see, the guy in the Four of Cups right here, he's focusing on those three cups, and he's kind of got his arms crossed, looking at that fourth cup like, no, I got this. I don't need that cup. I got this. I got this. I know what I'm doing. I got this. And the hand of the universe is just like, no, hello, you don't have this. You obviously don't have this, so please take the freaking cup already. Consume the information that's in it to bring stability to your emotional processes and contemplate and reevaluate what the literal fuck you're doing with yourself. Ace of Swords, see some truth. The, what's in this cup is going to bring truth to you. What's being said here should hopefully motivate some truth. Look at yourself in the mirror. To triumphant success again. Ace of swords, ace of swords. Devil, devil. Empress, empress. It's crazy. It's crazy. Triumphant success in the mind. This is a clear, aha, light bulb moment to the sun in reverse because you're not seeing clearly. You're not seeing clearly why your life is a mess. Your life is a mess because you're serving your flesh. Serve your soul and your life will change. Rest and rejuvenate with the four of swords. This is about coming to terms. Coming to terms with any kind of grief or sorrow or pain that you hold in your mind because that is what you are manifesting. Remember what you think about comes about. Mm -hmm. And if you're holding on to grief or sorrow and pain in your mind, guess what it is that you're creating in your life? The Empress in reverse. Out of control, grief, sorrow, and pain. Four of Swords says, come to terms with this. Bring stability to your mindset. And guess what? Nine of Wands and fight the good fight. Be resilient, be persistent, understand the limited time that you have on this planet to get done what it is that you need to get done, to learn what it is that you need to learn so you can continue on when the old meat suit finally does give out. Fight the good fight, be resilient and persistent and understand that there is a better way. There is a different way. There is the way of your soul path and the universe will continuously lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. And some people say, what happens when I get there? You don't. If you keep manifesting according to your intuition, it keeps leading you and leading you and leading you. There is no final destination. That's what the Empress and the Fool is about. Brand new beginning, brand new journey, and a quantum leap in your life a leveling up of your spirituality and the mastering of the three most important lessons that there are. What you think about comes about. Your intuition is constantly pointing you towards your true north. And if you will combine the two, you too will be the seedbed of all creation for you and your life. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.